Welcome to the Ministry's Papers. Today we're going to talk about painting up the Corpse Mayor Stampede, an endless spell for my Flesh Eater Quartz Army. Definitely one of the coolest models I've ever painted. It was pure joy to paint. And it's deceptively on the box a lot more than you thought. There's five of these suckers in here. Five. It was really, really cool. Well, let's go down to Table Town. Hello and welcome. We're going to start off with getting a footprint on the base of this model. So this way we can actually make it fit into my army uh, while adding a whole bunch of graveyard bits and ground that is coming from. So there's the footprint right there. I usually use white paint on the brown, on the black bases of uh, Citadel miniatures. Next up, I'm using AK Interactive's uh, Earth. Uh, terrain set and you can get sand or earth and heck you can use uh, wood putty right here I just like the texture of it and um, I just fill up all the parts without getting into the white areas in which I marked off for the miniature because you kind of want your miniature to touch from plastic to plastic uh, on the connection so when you're painting it you don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff around it so this way it can stick to okay next up black Steinol res primer uh, that I use to prime just about all my miniatures I really want the shadow values to show up here so um, I always base it in that black Stanoris primer. And next up, olive green from Stanoris primer. And when I do that, I'm gonna read you some of the lore. So the Corp Smear Stampede, with the bellowed word, the abhorrence and tendril of sickly light lancing from his outstretched fingers. These beams of necrotic energy purge into the earth causing the ground to upheave violently upwards and it cracks open a quintentant of rotting horses burst, burst forth to the abhorrent to summon it the corpse mare stampede appears as a herd of graceful beasts formed from purest light yet in truth no such rhyme or reason for the stampede's path the insane sorcery that animates the corpses causes them to wheel and charge erratic patterns barreling through rows of screaming warriors in one direction before switching the course and bolting towards fresh set of bodies the corpse mirror stampede um is a magic it costs seven value only abhorrence or nagash can summon it craze gallop when a model is set up a player who set it up can immediately make an action with it and trampled underfoot um you're rolling a lot of dice and giving a lot of mortal wounds with this thing. It's pretty sick. Athonian Camo Shade is next. And I'm just getting a nathal highlight. And that's when you shoot from underneath. And I'm just trying to get that transition of that green. I'm going as that olive green being my mid-tone. Uh, and just transforming it on the bottom to get that nice shadow. Bile on the top. Now this I use for my uh, Abhorrent Orange Regent. And I really liked it. So I'm using Bile from uh, Badger Minotaur and I'm just giving the highlights here so this way I have highlight mid-tone and uh, the shadows all right black is next and I like to do the hair in black it just seems so easy for me to do so I'm just choosing the easy path since I'm uh, exercising my speed painting muscle here uh, really trying to get as many models as possible trying to finish this army for the new year as quickly as possible I still have two more sets, two more boxes to go. So we're almost there. Again, black, laying it down. Look at the technique that I'm using, laying my hand over hand. Whenever you want to steady your hand, you want to limit your movement, that's something that you can do. Bone white is next. I'm gonna get all those bones and those faces, those skull faces, just bringing it up. And it takes a very long time. So I kind of like crack on with it off screen after this, but you get the idea here. Just bone, bone white. All right, next up, I'm doing some fist on red and I'm getting into the crevices here 
here and with the misfist on red and it's pretty watered down uh, I do like to use it diluted because I kind of want it to pool into areas as if it were like blood getting into there so and I don't want to overextend it so using a little bit of caution here but at the same time kind of letting it pool into the recesses and really letting it show through using that synthetic brush to do all that heavy lifting um, I like to use one happy brushes and I have it down in the description if you're interested in them Alrighty, so next up we're gonna go back with black to get the hooves down here and yeah definitely some black hooves uh has that contrast to it and already this miniature is starting to look really great this is an easy miniature if i can paint it anybody can you know uh easy miniature to do especially to speed paint as well also want to get all their tails notice that the middle tail is missing it's actually a separate piece that i wanted to get to this way i can actually paint the ribs and the uh, bone white where I need to in the middle of those two uh, galloping horses uh, without that tail in the way to block it. Red brown is next because I use this red brown, red brown uh, standard res primer, lay flat primer onto the base. So I kind of want to incorporate it in there and onto the base as well. So when they're coming up from the ground, it looks like it's seamless. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you uh, this technique where I take two colors and kind of blend them on my wet palette there and having a gradient uh, and that's because we're going to do some wet blending that's right some wet blending here pretty cool we're going to get the darkest uh, areas of that paint transition you saw there is going to be on the bottom and then I'm going to start dipping it into the light I'm putting it on fairly thick in order to get the values and not really worrying about brush strokes or anything like that because it's on the wet palette so i, I trust that it will flatten out uh eventually and it actually does <laughs> My first attempt at wet blending onto a miniature like this with heavy thick paint, you know, uh, F smoothness, uh, like Banshee says, <laughs> and um, just trying to trying to broaden my horizon here. Every model I do something new. This was my new technique here, just going for a thick, adding values in and smoothing it out later, uh, trying to do that with an airbrush. So just learning something new. I always try something new with every model. I always play with the paint. I'm not afraid to try new things. And you know, if I mess it up, I could always paint it over. It's not a big deal. All right, red number five. This is diluted. This is from War Colors. Uh, War Colors are a uh, gel base medium so i diluted it but not heavily and i'm really not caring if it gets onto the bones or anything like that because it just looks like gore at that point bootstrap leather is next trying to get the leather components of this model they actually have uh some kind of strap that's going in there i guess for a saddle but i don't see any saddles really i guess uh, a standing point like if a ghoul wanted to stand on its back i guess it could do that <laughs> You never know with these ghouls. All right, Black Stino Res Primer is next for that base uh, that we have painted up. Oh, I see the end in sight. Gotta get that painted up. It's gonna look great. Uh, and I put that fairly diluted. Uh, I guess I didn't have to dilute it that much, but <laughs> Seraphon Sepi is next. Just trying to get the bone little bits. I'm really not caring if it hits the model here, so I'm not masking anything. And just getting that a little transition going on there with the bone, tinting it just ever so lightly without trying to, you know, apply it by brush. I kind of just want to tint it, get that brown yellow into those uh, dry bones. Now, you don't have to do this step. It just something that I wanted to try and again trying to be a little um, a little reckless here but refined <laughs> in my painting all right here's where I do do uh, the uh, brush painting of that Seraphon Sepia on that bootstrap leather. I think the combination is really nice. I'm going to add the tail next because I finished painting all the uh, great bits that are in between those uh, raging mares that I have there. I'm just going to get that tail back in. Great. And next up, some somber gray. I'm going to hit all the um, kind of stony bits onto the base. There weren't too many on this base. Um, it was hard for me to roll out any kind of like flagstone on this base. So I just didn't go for it. 
and it's okay it works with my uh, aesthetic either way heavy blue gray is next for the highlights just trying to get the highlights throughout and you want to just have that highlight and then the dark and then the light you know just so you have those contrasting colors right there it really makes it pop when you have a dark color next to a light color all right now time for some steinor red, uh, red brown and we're gonna get some red brown in there uh, and this just matches my rest of my army. Um, later on, I hit it with some Athena and Camel Shade just to blend in some of the stuff. All right, so now I'm going to put the Corpse Mare Stampede down onto its base just to see if it fits well. It should fit well by my calculations and getting that footprint in. There it is, like almost seamless. I love it. All right, now let me paint the Black Steinal Res Primer. <laughs> And I love, I love the brush control that I get with this thing. And I love the techniques that I kind of use. Now, one way is just to go straight at it the way I'm doing it here. Another way is to hold the hands just like that. Just get that even brush stroke. There's another technique that you can use whenever you want to get a flat brush stroke. All right, WWS, I'm putting some tufts down. Uh, and I'm just trying to put a lot of tufts down, actually. I want to get as much as possible, kind of covering up where I think there are maybe gaps within the base and the actual minute since it has those base of the, the stuff coming up so I'm gonna put quite a bit on this one here and I think it actually came out really really well I'm really proud of this miniature it was so easy to paint up so quick my speed painting muscle all right let's enjoy the pictures and catch you on the outro it up it's gonna go into my flesh eater quartz army my new army for the new year and if you like this episode consider going down below and clicking on one of my amazon affiliate links which definitely helps out the channel if you click on one of those links and buy a product the channel gets a kickback at zero cost to you but if you don't i'm just really happy you came by to hang out well if you like this video like share comment and subscribe and we'll catch you next time on the miniature's paintbrush. <laughs>